T minus 16, guidance internal. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command engine start. 2, 1, ignition. <laughs> to a roller coaster, but in that horizontal position of the seats definitely is a much more comfortable ride. All right, now approaching main engine cutoff or MECO. So we're going to shut off the BE3 engine. MECO is confirmed. Separation of the two craft is confirmed. You can start to see the two craft in the screen. So far, everything appears to be nominal. Two craft have separated right about now is when, if you were an astronaut in there, that's when you'd be able to float around, gaze out of those huge, gorgeous windows. Should have an unofficial apogee altitude coming up here shortly. Mannequin Skywalker is an astronaut once again. Now the capsule should be continuing to do its slow spin. Everybody gets a window seat in the capsule of New Shepard, but now we're making sure everybody gets the perfect view. Two craft are heading back home now. The booster is going to beat the capsule back home. Obviously it's more aerodynamically shaped. Uh, and so it's going to come down first, right about now, in the next 10 to 15 seconds or so, this is when we expect the rocket to hit atmospheric pierce point. That means that's when it's coming back in and it's have it back, back home from space and it has enough air pressure upon which it can use its aerodynamic surfaces to push. And that will help guide the rocket back to its landing pad, again, two miles north of where it's taken off from. We have confirmation that the wedge fins have been deployed. Those fins are at the forward section, the top section of the rocket. They're housed in the ring fin. They also help provide stability for the rocket as it comes into land. And this booster is, is screaming home right about now.
touchdown. Welcome back, New Shepherd. Oh, you can hear our team back here at headquarters enjoying our, this moment for this rocket. What a day. Did a nice little maneuver there to bring it back to, back to the center of the pad, but that is what we're looking for. A ta completely autonomous system, Patrick. That never gets old. That's the type of stuff that makes live rocket launches and landings so exciting. And there we go. The crew capsule has its mains deployed, fully inflated. Coming in for a nice soft cruise back into our West Texas Valley there. And touchdown. <laughs> what a day. What a beautiful shot. Congratulations to all of Team Blue. Really well deserved. This is our 14th mission. A safe landing for the booster, safe landing for the crew capsule. We added a little, we were talking about add a little bit of char to the bottom of the, uh, to the bottom of that rocket. Came back nice and clean though. Look at that. Absolutely spectacular. Now, if you were an astronaut on board that capsule there, you would have had an incredible ride up over the Kármán line and back. Get the big, beautiful views out of the, you know, the, we did the mm -hmm. 360 degree spin this time. Get your three minutes of, of weightlessness. I can't wait to check out the onboard cameras to see the views that Mannequin Skywalker experience today. Just what a day. Looks like a nice clean landing right there in the desert. Everything looks to have gone 